Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing one of my most requested try-on hauls here on my channel, which is for spring dresses. A lot of you guys are going to be graduating soon. Some of you are bride-to-be's, some of you are going to be a wedding guest, others are looking for sorority formal, 21st birthday dresses. I've just been getting like dress requests left and right, so today I wanted to sit down and just kind of round up all of the dresses that I've been picking up recently from a few different retailers. I want to say a big Thank you to Lulu's for sponsoring today's video. They sent over some super cute goodies, but I do have items from other brands, Belk, Petal and Pup, and Mixology to share with you guys today. As per usual, I will leave links to everything down below. And without further ado, let's hop right on. All right, I'm gonna start off with white dresses from Lulu's. A lot of these could work for grad season, formals, bride-to-be's, just kind of anything. I wanted to pick up some universal styles that could kind of work across the board. Lulu's is one of my favorite retailers to buy special occasion wear from. I reach for their stuff time and time again, and my junior prom dress was from there as well. So the first dress that I got is this white bubble dress. I love this. It's strapless and it's got like a metallic sheen to it, which I really, really like. I'm wearing an extra small in all of these pieces and this fit me beautifully. It has a little bit of stickiness along the top too, so that this doesn't move around throughout the night. I thought that this was the perfect length and I just feel like this is a really elegant piece. I am graduating in December, as you guys know, but I'm taking my graduation pictures in May before I move out of Kent. So this, I believe, is what I'm gonna be wearing with my cap and gown. I love it, super cute, very timeless. I also got Got this white strapless dress and this one is a little more casual you could definitely wear this by the water too if you are looking to bring something on vacation I really like how much I can mix and match these pieces this one has a little bit of eyelet lace throughout it so very cutesy a little more boho it's got a ruffle and then we've got some tiered layers throughout this one is like triple lined so you don't have to worry about this being see-through could still be an awesome grad option too. just pop on your school colors for the heel and you can really tie this outfit together. No, not everyone is a fan of pleats. I personally love them. I think that they are something that always comes back in style, very timeless. And this is like a tiered ruffle, one shoulder dress, so adorable. If you are looking for an engagement shoot kind of dress, I think that this would be perfect. It also comes in a couple of other colors. So if you are looking for a shorter dress for either your sorority formal or for a wedding guest moment, I think that this would be really cute. It's a very flattering style since it's rather shapeless it just kind of like I don't know it really helps elongate those legs with the fun pop of color heels like I said you can really do a lot with this the last white dress that I have for right now is adorable. It's got these huge ruffled sleeves, which I love. Anything that has a statement sleeve I think is super cute. This one's just like your classic baby doll style, and then it does tie along the back. This has a very simple silhouette to it. It's one of those things that could work really well for grad photos, and then you can wear this for other occasions too, and just kind of keep this in your closet for years to come. All right, the next piece that I grabbed is this light pink one. I love this. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did. This is a super thick material. The quality of this is amazing. It's got that little sweetheart neckline. It does have a one shoulder that's got this really fun ruffle to it. I think that it adds just enough. Like it makes a statement without it being too overpowering. I think that one as opposed to two sleeves is definitely a must. And then towards the bottom it's got that little peblum ruffle that's super super cute. I think that this pale pink is perfect for the springtime as well. If you're looking for a sorority formal option this one would definitely be Great. Right, I'm moving into some fancier wedding guest styles. These are definitely a little more elevated if you're going for cocktail or even semi-formal formal. formal. Um, this first one is navy and I love this. If you have a spring wedding coming up, this would be perfect. I actually wore this exact same dress style from Lulu's in the lace version to a wedding in July and I got tons of compliments on it. They still have that dress available, um, but this is just the solid version of it. The neckline is super flattering. It's more of a plunging style, but it's it's not like super boobalicious either. It's got tiered ruffles and this ends right at the ankles so you can showcase a really fun pair of shoes as well. Very flattering and this is a piece that you can kind of wear regardless of the season. Keep this in the cycle and I just love the navy but like I said it does come in a few different options. This next dress is also navy but it has a little bit of nude underlay to it. You've got a little bit of mesh and then some lace detail along the top. This is a really beautiful piece. 
I will say that this runs a little bit large, so if you are in between sizes, I would definitely suggest going down. It's got thin adjustable straps and a really unique cut to it. It's got all kinds of fun stitches, and then along the bottom, we've got that little like mermaid style. However, this is more of that ankle length as well, so it doesn't completely touch the ground. I feel like this is a really elegant piece, very dressy, and just like very wedding approved all around. I do believe that this comes in maroon as well, but I'm more of a true navy girl. I feel like it works for spring, summer, and fall, so that's why I love right, that. And then this next dress is actually really great if you are a bridesmaid. If you're going to be in a wedding, I definitely recommend checking out Lulu's stuff. They have so many options. My dress that I wore for my junior prom, I actually sold to a girl who was looking for green bridesmaid dresses. So this one is kind of that similar style. However, if you are going to a black tie wedding, this would work really well for that as well. Navy, it's got that plunging neckline that I love so much. And then this is just a few different layers of fabric. It does have a slit along the left hand side. It's a very timeless, very classic fit. It's nothing super out of the ordinary, but I really love that because it's a dress that you'll look back on photographs in years to come and you'll be so glad that you wore it. This comes in so many different colors. I just went for the navy again. I'm a true navy girl, like I said, but if you are also in high school and looking for an affordable prom dress option or even in college looking for something kind of basic, if you guys do long formal dresses, I highly recommend this. All right, and then the last dress that I grabbed from them is more of like an off-white. This would be just really cute for a photo shoot, I feel like. It has a very simple silhouette to the top, just like your classic little v-neck, but it has these sweet little ruffles along it and then adjustable straps. It goes the full way down. This one is just fitting me, so if you're in between sizes, I would say go up. I know that this comes in a beautiful mustard as well, so super cute. If you're going to be taking photos in a field, senior photos, something like that, this is the kind of dress that I would recommend wearing. And of course, I did go ahead and pick up two pairs of heels. I love Lulu's. It's where I get a lot of my fun statement shoes. Um, so the first pair that I got are these little white ones. They have this fun like mesh bow along the front. So adorable. More of that kitten heel. And they do have a little bit of a point to them. I think that this with the white bubble dress for my grad photos is going to be really cute. Would also be a great bride-to-be shoe if you are getting married sometime soon. And then I also got these pink feather heels. I actually have these in white. I got them for fashion week and I get so many questions and compliments on them. They've got a short, really manageable heel. And because they have that platform, they're super easy to walk in. They've got a little bit of a point and then of course that fun little feather. They actually restocked them in white and they also now have them in pink and then a light green. I had to grab them in the pink because I just love these shoes so much. They add such a fun element to a simple white look. So I'm really glad that I picked these up. I went with my true size in both and eight. All right, moving on, I got some pieces from Shop Mixology. This site is like a small Australian boutique and they have tons of different styles from like different retailers. They're a little bit pricier, but if you're looking for something high end, then I highly recommend them. This is a white double layered romper. I know it kind of looks like a really short dress, but it actually is shorts, which I love because you get the mobility of shorts, but the dressiness of a dress. It's got those cutesy, bishop sleeves and then a little bit of smocking throughout love this so perfect for grad season um, if you are having a graduation party and you're wanting something kind of more casual I feel like this is a really great option and then I also picked up this white ruffled dress this gives me like very SEC um, more like southern bell vibes if I can get it zipped up right now I'm really struggling since I'm on camera um, and then it's got like a little asymmetrical hem to it very cute I know that this is super feminine so maybe not be everyone's taste but I really like it I think that this is super super cute it's very different for me um, and I'm glad that I gave it a try and then for more of an Eastery vibe I got this purple and white gingham one I believe that by the time you guys are seeing this Easter will already have passed but I am thinking about wearing this for Easter this year it's smocked all throughout so it's a little more fitted however this little ruffle along the bottom gives it a little more like casualness I guess and then it does self tie along the straps could be super cute with just a pair of white sandals or even sneakers if you wanted to dress this down. 
Petal and Pop is another great place to pick up wedding guest dresses. I love this rust color. This dress actually comes in a few different colors and I grabbed in this just because I thought that it would really make my blue eyes blonde hair pop and I wasn't wrong. I'm wearing this in a size 2. I will say that a majority of their stuff does run on the smaller side so if you're on the fence definitely go up. This one just has a one shoulder. It gathers a little bit along the center and it's very flattering. It does have that slit along the back as well to help make walking in it a little bit easier I think that the silk like slip midi moment is really never going to go out of style so they're very big right now I would definitely act on that because it's super easy I also got this romper maybe not a wedding guest option but I just feel like for the springtime I'm gonna find a use for this it's like a light green with a little bit of lace to it I love the floral details it's got bishop sleeves and double layered shorts which are so adorable I actually have a dress in this pattern and I really really like it I think Think that this pale green is perfect for the springtime too so if you're headed somewhere where the dress code's a little more dressed down def check this out all right the next dress i got is this pink maxi i wish that this were like a a fancier material because I think that the cut of it is so pretty for a wedding but it's more of like a linen material so it's a little more casual perfect for just like every day brunch with friends walking around the city something like that it's got an adorable little bow along the back and then it's got these thin self tying straps which of course I love double lined too so this one's a little bit thicker something that you could easily dress up or down with sneakers slash heels and then the last two pieces that I have are actually from Belk Belk has tons of different retailers. Like they sell free people, they sell um, Steve Madden, Circus by Sam Edelman, like all kinds of brands. And I got two different dresses from them. I also really like this one for Easter. I've been loving this dress style recently. It's like these tiered ruffles and this is double lined as well. More of a casual material. And then this neckline, whatever it is with this little twist to it is so flattering with a sticky bra, you can really give your boobs some oomph. And then these little puffs sleeves. I think it's just such a classic style. I'm really glad that this is trending again this season because it's one of my favorites and pink and white has really been growing on me. I love this color for the spring. I feel like it just kind of complements so many different skin tones. And then the last dress that I grabbed is this like peachy one. It's got a bunch of different flowers throughout and this is obviously a maxi style as well. This one is only double lined like halfway. It's the double lining stops at like regular dress length but the dress itself is more of a full length you've got these really cute little ruffled straps which I love and then a smocked bodice more of a casual style however if you are going to kind of like that backyard wedding vibe I think that you could make this work too well guys that is all for these dresses I'm also sharing some 21st birthday styles on my TikTok. if you guys want to check that out I have just been trying to bust out the dresses left and right if there's anything else that you need help styling be sure to let me know in the comments down below and if you would be interested in seeing a part two to this video, give this video two thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. And like I said, I will leave everything linked down below. Thank you, Lulu's, again. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye, guys.